Earth law redefines our relationship with the planet for sustainable coexistence. Between Earth law and, say, animal rights law or environmental law and, you know, perhaps uh, human rights, you know, that is there a difference or are they similar? Does it encompass them all? Uh, it's a well-framed question, Lunell. Thank you. Um, Earth law is both an extension of contemporary environmental law, as well as a radical departure. And I know that when one says radical, one's basically putting a, a target on one's back because there seems to be this strong negative bias that we all have against radical. It's like we shouldn't have that. And part of earth law theory is is uh, destigmatizing radical thinking. Radical thinking leads to radical accomplishments like landing on the moon. Uh, ecocentrism does not subordinate the interests of humankind to anyone or anything else. Quite to the contrary, it rebalances the interests of humankind within the framework that supports human life. We can't have human rights that result in the degradation of Earth, or we won't have an Earth to support humankind.